Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Hunter Allen here, rangehot.com. I hope everybody's doing well. So I've got a treat for us this evening. I'm finalizing my review of the BT SRBS 762 Ti DM. It is rated for all 30 caliber rounds up to and included magnums. There is no barrel length restrictions and it's full auto rated. So right off the gate, I'm gonna let y'all know this damn thing is gonna be tough as woodpecker lips. Now, if you've made it this far, Please consider sticking around, subscribing to Range Hot, check out what we got going on. I think we got a lot of cool stuff that we review and talk about, so stick around. Come on, welcome aboard, be a part of the family. Now the SRBS stands for the Slimline Reduced Back Pressure System. Now the Slimline part is 1.7 inches in diameter, and that's important because if you thread it on your rifle, your AR, your bolt gun, what have you, then it's not gonna get in the way of your sights and that is pretty important, or your optics, ever what you're running. The reduced back pressure system, now that's important for a number of reasons and we're gonna go through that real quick. On a traditional baffle stack can, not like this, but a traditional, you're gonna get a lot of back pressure because you just got standard baffles in there and all that gas has gotta go somewhere. A lot of it does go out the can, but a lot of it goes back down the bore. And the first thing you're gonna notice is when you're running that can, you're gonna get a lot of gas and perhaps even some small particulates blown back at you through the charging handle area. There's not a whole lot you can do about that on those baffle stack type cans. That's just the nature of the beast. However, with the reduced back pressure or some people call it flow through, you're not gonna get that. All, the, all that gas, all those particulates are being directed out and down range, so you're not gonna get all that stuff back in your face. Now that's pretty important for you. Certainly makes the rifle a lot more comfortable to shoot, but also all you don't want all that gas and stuff blowing back in your face. Now the shorter the barrel, the worse that's gonna get. So if you're considering running a 30 caliber SBR, then this can would be ideal for you. A Couple of the other reasons though that that reduced back pressure is very important is with a traditional baffle stack can, you gotta, you're gonna have a lot of bolt overspeed. With bolt overspeed, you're gonna be prone to malfunctions. So you're gonna have to either adjust your gas system or you're gonna, you're gonna have to funk monkey with your buffer weight in order to combat that, slowing your carrier down. But with this, here again, you're not gonna have to mess with that. You screw, screw it on a rifle, run the gun, take it off, run the gun, it's fine. And a little bonus you're gonna get from that is because that stuff isn't blowing back through the, the bore and all your carrier, it is gonna keep the rifle running a lot cleaner and a lot cooler. Now we ran this on the Ruger SFAR 308 rifle, a lot. No malfunctions, no misfeeds with that. We also, when we reviewed the Range Tool Predator in 22 arc, we run this, run a lot of ammo through this can. Both rifles were equally reliable with and without it, no problems. But also equally as important is it did not affect accuracy at all. Three shots. Now it does come from BNT with a 5 8 direct thread mount, but if you don't like that, you can always swap it out. It is hub compatible. Titanium, 3D printed. They can print these very intricate baffles to benefit from the 3D printing, allow that reduced back pressure system to work without having to do a lot of complex machining, so that's gonna keep the cost down. Speaking of cost, this can is about 1300 bucks, just under, but if you buy it through Silencer Shop, they pay for the tax stamps. You get a free tax stamp, save you a couple hundred bucks on that. We talked about the dimensions real quick, the length, 7.3 inches. The weight with the direct thread mount is 9.9 .9 ounces. The diameter is 1.7 inches. It is completely made of titanium and the finish is a black, kind of a matte colored Cerakote. Y'all, I've been doing B&T reviews for a long time. They build an excellent, excellent silencer. Um, this is certainly no exception. If you are running a 300 black, you know, little sub gun, SBR, 308 SBR, you know, as a matter of fact, we did screw this on the end of a Barnes Precision Machine 308 pistol. And uh, here again, it worked just fine. So we had a number of different hosts 
Couple different calibers and different barrel lengths. Did not affect reliability or accuracy one bit. That's a pretty good thing. I'm really sold on these BNT cans. I think they're a pretty daggum good value for what you're spending. And so they've been able to maintain that, that, that reduced back pressure system while giving great suppression. Always remember there's gonna be an article on rangehot.com, all the tech specs and everything on this, as well as if you stuck around this long, I certainly hope I earn your subscription. Stick around, we've got a number of BNT silencers we're viewing, as well as some other stuff that's pretty cool. So I want you to stay tuned and see what we got going on. Look here, y'all. I want you to take care of yourselves and each other. Look forward to seeing you at the range.